It's a sad truth to tough t that's tough to talk about. Studies show about one in ten women will experience a miscarriage. The risk goes up with age and after every loss. But that loss also creates a special bond between women and their nurses. KATV News Watch 7's Nicole Goodrich is live. Some families lose their children before they even get to meet, and others spend precious short time with their babies. Today, Methodist Health dedicated a day to those losses, holding a remembrance of life. Welcome to this time to remember little ones who have left an imprint on your lives forever. On a beautiful, sunny afternoon in Turner Park, families from across the metro prepare to release their pain into the sky. The rising of the sun and it's going down. Each of these white balloons represents a life taken far too soon. The strings held by families who've lost a pregnancy or a newborn. One of these balloons is for Amanda Peterson's son. Logan James Peterson. And we went in for our routine ultrasound to find out if he was a boy or a girl. In April, Peterson was 20 weeks pregnant with her son Logan after suffering two miscarriages. And that's when we were told that he has LUDO, which is a rare birth defect uh, regarding his urinary tract. LUDO took Logan's kidney function. Just days after that ultrasound, Peterson learned her precious baby boy wouldn't live outside the womb. We delivered at 28 weeks. He was 2 pounds 10 ounces, and we spent about 20 minutes together before he passed away. She met and lost her second son on June 5th. There in the beginning and um, in the end. Now, Peterson shares a bond with the woman, the nurse who stood by her side. You find a certain kind of um, reward in taking care of people like Mandy. Both are in the crowd as Logan is one of hundreds of babies released so they can fly. I feel like it's either going to be a giant hole inside of you that you let just eat you up or you turn it around and focus on the good and the positive that they brought to your life and celebrate that time that they had. Peterson has been writing a blog about her experience with Logan. She says she's become passionate about sharing her story so that other families going through this know that they're not alone. We've posted a link inside this story on our website at KETV.com. Back to you.